Hey Yogi, welcome, welcome to today's class. Today's practice is a really short and sweet class that you can incorporate into your day. We'll be mainly focusing on our hips, our hamstrings, and deepening into our back bends. So focusing on shoulders, chest, and spine. You won't need any props other than perhaps some blocks today. If you've not got blocks, grab some hot back books, and then we'll get started in our tabletop. Beginning in tabletop, we'll arrive on hands and knees, making sure that we've got a nice clean setup with hands underneath shoulders and our knees underneath our hips. So we're gonna get started with my favorite, some cat cow. Breath in, lift your tail, lift your crown, curve out your spine. Exhale, drive through the hands, tuck the chin in, spread the shoulders wide. Breathe in, create that nice, clean, sweet lift the gaze. And exhale, draw it in, chin to chest. Inhale. And exhale, find your round, active press. Two more breaths in, curve the spine. Exhale to close off. Wonderful, last one, big breath. And round, exhale. Create a nice long spine, root down through your left hand. We're gonna to start to open the chest to the right. So your right arm starts to reach forward as you take your breath in. Open your arm towards the side. And as you exhale, drop the right hand by the right heel, drop the gaze. This time as you inhale, sweep your right fingers all the way across your mat towards the front. Open the chest and the shoulder to the right. As you exhale, bump back to the heels. Inhale, reach long. Exhale to sit back. Breathe in, reach forwards. And exhale, drop. On your next inhale, we're going to reach forwards through the right arm. Try and balance for a moment here and see if you can take the opposite leg, so left leg back. As you exhale, bring your right elbow towards your left knee. And then inhale, reach forwards through right fingertips, through left toes. Exhale to tap. Inhale, reach forwards. Exhale, tap. Inhale. Okay, on the next exhale, I want you to bend into your left knee, all balancing on the hands, on the knee, and see if you can reach back and grab the foot. No problem if you can't reach the foot. Just imagine you want to get there. If you can, flex into your left toes, and then do a little kick with the foot into the hands. A good alternative is, is to use maybe a strap or a dressing gown move, anything where you can loop around that foot so it's like an extension of the arm. A couple more breaths. So you're going to feel this one really just across your shoulders, your chest, your back, your left hip flexor, and the front of the body. Engage in the hamstring and the thigh. Okay, soft release, right arm forwards, left, right arm forwards, left leg back, inhale. Drop your right hand flat to the mat. And as you exhale, drop your left toes and drop your left heel over to the right. So we're going to come into a, a side plank. If you want a bit more stability, you can turn your right toes out to the side. But if you want to challenge the balance, keep the foot where it is. Left arm reaches skywards on the breath in. Take your left arm over your ear and look up to your left fingers. So using a bit of core stability to keep us steady in the pose. And focus on really stretching into those side body muscles. So to the left side body is where you're going to feel it. Press down through the outsides of the foot to really exaggerate that opening. And see if you can lengthen a little bit more through left fingertips. Okay, options to stay exactly where we are through this side body length. Maybe if you can pop left foot off of the mat, flex into the left toes, take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, bend your left knee and grab for your ankle or for your foot. See if you can gently kick, just like we did in the bird dog, kick foot into the hand, open across the chest. And always, no problem if you can't reach the foot. That's the next step for you. Don't rush it. Be patient. It will come. Reach forwards through the left hand, take the left leg long, breathe in. Drop your left foot, drop your left hand, breathe out. Bring the right toes in if you kick them out a little. Lift through the left toes, take a breath in, look long. 
And as we exhale, we're gonna take a nice big step through the left foot, steps wide of the left hand. So I like to curl my back right toes and kind of scooch my right knee back a little bit. It just takes a bit of sharpness off the knee so you come onto the fleshy part of the right thigh. And we'll either come onto our fingertips or onto a block if you've got one handy. Breathe in, lift the chest, draw the belly forwards. And as you exhale, see if you can push your hips forwards a little bit more. Just come into a nice deep hip opener in our lizard stance. Take one more inhale here. As we exhale, start to pull the hips back and ground through the left heel. So again, you can use your block if you're struggling to reach the mat. Hands ground down. We're gonna lift up to length and make sure this left leg is nice and straight. And then exhale to fold. Try to keep right knee directly above the right hip. Avoid kind of tracking past it. If this happens, see if you can take your left foot forwards a little. And just work on folding with breath, giving yourself this time to open up. Dedicating this moment to yourself, to your practice, connecting deeper and deeper. As you inhale, lift the gaze, send the gaze, the awareness all the way forwards. Press down through the hands, little lunge into the left knee. We're going to go ahead and curl our back toes and lift our back kneecap, just making that a little bit more elevated in the back leg. Drive through the back heel for a moment, keep it active. And now see if you can step right foot wide off the right hand. So big step, sink down into the hips, come into a little yogi squat. Don't worry if you're not as low as this, come a little higher. You can even sit on a block and just hang out here. We're gonna take five deep breaths. So focus on spreading your energies across your heart and your hips for one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, remove the block if you've used it. Use your inhale to push you up and straighten your legs. Reach your fingertips high. Optional little back bend. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Sit down into a bit more of an active squat about half of the way. Ground down through the hands. We're gonna keep our right foot rooted and go ahead and step our left toes, drop our left knee, and then bring our right knee back to meet our left. So revisiting our tabletop, this time ground down through your right hand, reach for your left fingertip. Inhale, open the chest, sit the hips back to the heels. As you exhale, drop your left hand to the mat. Inhale, drag your left fingertips forwards, open up wide. Exhale, come and take a seat. Inhale, reach forward to the front of your space. Exhale, sit back. Two more breaths in. Exhale, drop. Make it big, make it circular. And on the last one, as you inhale, I want you to reach left fingers all the way forwards. Find the steadiness. Right hand stays where it is. See if you can take the right leg long. Okay, exhale, start to bring left elbow in towards the right knee, round the spine, and then inhale, reach forward through fingertips, point back through toes. Exhale, suck it in, engage the core, breathe in, reach forwards. Exhale. On the next breath in, reach long with your fingers, see if you can bend into your right knee and flex through your back toes. Maybe reaching for the ankle or the foot. Again, no big if you've not got it. Imagine you want to get there. If you've got it, kick foot into the hands. Here we can breathe into that expansion, into that openness. Gaze is steady. Breath is soft. Wonderful. Gentle release, left arm forwards, right leg back. Breathe in. Drop your left hand, drop your right toes. Drop your right heel, breathe out. So options, as we come into this side body plank, maybe kicking the left toes out the way for a bit of extra support. I like to use this foot as a bit of a kickstand. Otherwise, keep it there for extra balance challenge. Okay, all right arm, take that over your ear. Roll your right hip, roll your right shoulder. See if you can lift the gaze to the fingertips. And now maybe start to pop right foot off of the mat if you can. Take a breath in, bend into your right knee. As you exhale, perhaps reach in for the ankle or the foot. Little kick, 
open up a little bit wider, breathe steady. You'll feel this across the right hip flexor. And I want you to keep it active by flexing into the right foot. You're gonna feel that engagement through the back of the leg, in particular your glute and your hamstring, as well as exploring the back bend. Okay, release, right arm forwards, right leg back, deep breath in, drop hand, drop foot to the mat, drop the shoulder, drop the hip, breathe out. Now point for your right toes, take a breath in, look forwards. As we exhale, step the right foot wide of the right hand. Again, that optional little curl of the back toes, little scooch back of the back knee, and then come onto this fingertips or maybe onto the blocks, inhale, Draw your shoulders back, send your heart forwards, and as you exhale, try and really push through the front foot. So you're driving the weight forwards, but keeping the hips grounded. Inhale here. On the exhale, start to pull your hips back. So remember, you can use a block. Coming into half splits, but keeping the foot wide. You're going to feel it on the back and on the inside of your inner thigh. Lift up a little length and look forwards. Inhale, exhale, bow down inside of that knee. Keep the neck soft. Couple more breaths to explore. Lovely, breath in, lift the gaze, lunge into your right knee, move your block out the way. Curl the back toes, lift the back knee, cut, charge through the back heel for a moment, keep the hips low. Now lift the hips, press into the left foot, lunge into the knee. So coming into that deep malasana, active squat, spread your hips, lift your chest. Couple more breaths. And on your next inhale, big press. We're gonna come all the way up. Reach for the sky, optional back bend. Open your heart, hands to the heart. Sit all the way back down into the active squat. Now come down. So left foot roots, right toes drop back, right knee cap, left knee cap. Look forwards as you breathe in. We're gonna come all the way down onto the belly as we breathe out. We're gonna take a couple of cobra waves. So press through the hands, press through the tops of the toes. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, lift your chest. Exhale, come on down, release the breath, release the gaze. Inhale, roll with the chest. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, press. And exhale. On your next breath in, we're going to lift and breathe and hold for three. Keep it active, elbows slightly bent, two. And one. Lovely, now all the way to the heart, big press to come in towards child's pose. Stay in here for as long as you need to return back to breath and body. If you are ending your practice here, yeah, thank you so much for joining me in this class. Namaste.